So let's fairly quickly look at just a couple of these blocks in the motion menu and look at how they actually work to move the cat from the middle of the stage to the upper right hand corner. First of all we have this, this base one that I showed you before you even got started which uses uh, relative movement again just to move him from the center to that upper right hand corner by moving and turning and uh, so that's one way to do that. As we work down the, the, the block, you'll notice one of the next blocks that works is go to. Uh, go to is really a, a great absolute movement that it doesn't even matter where the cat is, right? I can just click on the green flag and move him to the specific coordinate system I want. I want him to move to 21150 regardless of where he happens to be. And so uh, even though my task was maybe move him from the middle to the upper right hand corner, absolute movement allows me to do that. Scratch has a, a, a one that your students will really like that's related to go to that is glide. And the advantage of the glide is that it does it over a period of time. You can actually see him move. So rather than the cat just sort of jumping from a place to, to a coordinate system, he glides over a set amount of time. Uh, I have to say that while your students will like this, I think you'll discover as we move on, in particular when you get into game uh, development, things like that, that glide actually has some, some challenges to it. Uh, but it is a lot of fun to play with. And again, uh, it's all based on absolute movement. Regardless of where you start with, you move to that location. Uh, you see one of the challenges right now, which is how fast he moves actually depends on where he starts from because you've, you've asked them for the total glide to take two seconds. So he's really slow if he's close to there, but he's really fast if he's far away from there. But anyway, there's the glide, absolute movement. Below that, you'll see a couple of blocks here that, 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 that uh, look like they're almost the same block, but they're actually, one set is relative and one set is absolute, right? And so we have this idea with change x by, let me reset him, change x by 200 and 150. Well, as long as I start at the middle, then that's going to go to the upper right-hand corner, which is 200, 150. But if I try to do that again now, Right? Well, I, I actually asked to change X by 200 and Y by 150, and he sort of tries to go off the edge of the screen. You'll notice he doesn't actually go all the way off the edge of the screen. We'll talk more about that in a video in a few minutes. Uh, but, but the idea is this is relative movement. We're changing his X and Y position relative to where he is right now. So, of course, the proper way to do that with absolute is instead of doing change x and y by a value. We want to set x and y in a value that says, you know, ignore what the old value was. This said, you know, take x and add 200 to it. This says, I don't care what x is, set it to 200 and set it to 150. So it's, it's the, really the equivalent of go to, just divided between two different blocks. And so those are just a few of the ways that you can move the cat around using uh, the, the blue motion blocks divided between relative and absolute motion. So there we go. We've finally debriefed task number one, and we've talked about most of the motion blocks, the blocks from the blue motion menu in Scratch. As we move on to the next lesson, in the next lesson, we're going to talk about the need to properly set up your Scratch programs before you run them, something that we call the concept of places everyone.